Hey everybody, Rob here at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Kurt Class 5 Custom Fit Trailer Hitch Receiver on our 2019 Chevrolet Express van. Now our Kurt Hitch here is going to be the heavy duty hitch. It's going to be more geared towards just pulling those really heavy trailers. So if you have a work van that you use, maybe you're a plumber, an electrician, there's a lot of different things people use these vans for. But again, our hitch is gonna be more geared towards pulling those heavy loads, because it is a class five. But the nice thing about it is, is it still has that two inch by two inch receiver tube opening, opposed to having a larger two and a half inch. So the two inch receiver tube is gonna have the widest variety of options when it comes to accessories. Obviously, you can put a ball mount in here and tow a trailer, but if you use your van for uh, recreational purposes after work maybe you have a group of friends you want to go to the park ride some bikes or if you use it on long trips we can load up a cargo carrier a bike rack just the amount of options that we can put in our access into our hitch and the accessories we can mount are really really wide but regardless of what exactly you're going to be using it or how all of the accessories are going to mount through the hitch pin hole here on the side now again our hitch is a class 5 but it's still going to accept a standard 5 ace pin and clip now this isn't going to come with our hitch but you can find them here at eachoa.com along with some locking devices and anti-rattle devices to make sure everything's nice and secure and to cut down on that annoying rattling sound from the back of the receiver tube now if you're going to be towing a trailer you obviously need a spot to hook your safety chains and here you can see we have a plate style welded to the bottom of the receiver tube and the openings are pretty large so whether you have what I consider most normal size hooks, still be able to hook them on, but you can see that lip on there is actually kind of thick. So we can still get them hooked on, but just keep in mind that they may not rotate all the way down. Now if we have some larger oversized hooks, still have plenty of room to get them hooked on, move them around, and not have to worry about it interfering with the pin and clip, or even potentially hitting the bottom of our bumper. Now, if you're looking at a heavy duty hitch, obviously you have something in mind you wanna do, and it's probably something pretty heavy. So as far as the weight capacity goes, our hitch is gonna have a 2,400 pound tongue weight. That's a maximum downward force at the end of the receiver tube. It's also gonna have a 16,000 pound gross trailer rate rating. Now it is designed to work with weight distribution systems. So if you have one on your trailer, it'll work great with this. And that tongue weight's gonna stay at 2,400 pounds, but it is gonna bump the gross trailer rating up to 17,000 pounds. Now that's a lot of weight, so I do recommend that you double check your Express Vans owner's manual because those are our rating for our hitch and we do not wanna exceed the manufacturer's rating for our van. Now I'd like to give you a few measurements. These are gonna help you out whenever you're looking for an accessory for your new hitch. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper, it's gonna be right about three and a half inches. Now that measurement is going to help you when you're looking at folding accessories to make sure you have enough room to put them in the upright stored position and not make contact with the rear bumper. From the ground to the inside top edge of the receiver tube opening, it's going to be right about 17 inches. Now that measurement is going to help you when you're looking for a ball mount so you can find the appropriate rise or drop to match up to your trailer. But now that we've seen what a hitch looks like and gone over some of the features, let's bring it in the shop and go through the installation process together so you can have the confidence to do it at home. To begin our installation, we want to come underneath the back of our express van and we're going to move over to the side of the frame rail. Now on the bottom of the frame, we're going to find several holes and on the side of the frame, we'll find a large opening that's at the very back and then another one that's just a little bit further forward by the spare tire. Now we need to get a few pieces of hardware into our frame and fortunately, we have those large access holes that'll make it pretty easy. The very furthest back hole here is going to get a 9 16th bolt and it's going to use the black square hole spacer block. So we can reach in and drop a bolt down, but as you can see, it doesn't quite fit through the hole, so we are going to have to enlarge it so that it can accept the bolt to come down through. Now most of us don't have a 9 16th or larger drill bit. So what I'm gonna do is take a half inch drill bit and just wallow the hole out just big enough so it accepts that bolt. Right. 
Now that we know that our bolts fits, before I put the hardware in place, I'm gonna come back with some spray paint and cover the exposed metal areas because it's never a good idea to leave exposed metal, especially on the bottom of the frame. But we'll move over to the other side and enlarge that hole as well. So we'll take that 916 bolt, spacer block, and drop it down through the frame just like that. Over the hole right in front of that, we're gonna grab one of the half inch spacer blocks and a half inch bolt. It'll fit right into that silver block. And we're gonna drop it down through that hole. Now, if we move forward on a frame rail, again, that large opening by the spare tire, we're actually gonna have two holes. We wanna use the one towards the front of our van. And this is gonna get another half inch bolt and spacer block. And just drop right down through the frame. Now this is gonna be the same combination and location of hardware on the other side, so we'll get those in place as well. Now the next set of hands, we can lift our hitch into position. We're gonna make sure the bolts drop down through the frame, down through the hitch. Then for that furthest back bolt, you wanna make sure you grab the 916 nut and get it in place. And the other two, they're gonna look very similar, but this is just a little bit smaller. We've got a half inch nut for the other pieces of hardware. You wanna get at least one on each side so the hitch will support itself. Then we can get the rest of the hardware in place. Now for the large 916 flange nut, you wanna grab either a 22 millimeter socket or a 7A socket and we'll snug it up. For the smaller half inch bolts, we can use either a 19 millimeter socket or a three quarter inch. You just wanna make sure you go back and snug up all the hardware. But now we can come back with a torque wrench. We're gonna to torque all the hardware down to the specified amount in the instructions. Now you do wanna go back and repeat that for all of your remaining hardware. But once you have that last bolt torqued down, that'll finish up your installation and your look at the Kurt Class 5 Custom Fit Trailer Hitch Receiver on our 2019 Chevrolet Express Van.